tuckered out, no energy, no problem. Sometimes at the end of the day, we really don't need more energy. So here's one to get you tucked in. Dynamic seated forward bend. Konasana. Now pay attention and move at the rate of your breath. Let's begin by taking a deep inhale with arms overhead. And as you exhale, widen the arms down and back, leaning forward, catching hold of a wrist behind your back. Then inhale again, widen the arms up and overhead, completing the inhalation. And again, exhaling, hinging at the hips, leaning forward with a long flat back, arms behind, catching hold of another wrist. And again, inhale, widen the arms up and overhead, stretching to the sky at the top of your inhalation. Repeat the movement, exhaling down with a flat back, taking the arms behind you, and inhaling, widening the arms up and overhead, mirroring the expansion and contraction of the lungs on the inhalation and exhalation. This movement of the arms also makes sure that you're Upper back is not in a curved, overly curved situation, that your spine is maintaining integrity and the muscles of your back are being engaged evenly and moderately. Ensuring the safety of the movement and preventing any undue strain. After five or six times of movement up and down, like that, then settle down in a forward bend and uh, maybe propping your forehead on your forearms or a yoga block if you have one. Wherever you're doing this, it helps to um, be on a slight elevation if you're outside sitting on a downward slope if you're at home, sitting up on a folded blanket. And of course, your knees don't have to be straight here. You could bend them as much as you need to. With each inhalation, feeling your body soften and open. And with each exhalation, Relaxing, letting go of tension, letting go of thoughts. When you are ready to come up, please use your hands to come up rather than engaging the muscles of the back and then just sit quietly, adjust and feel this settling energy ground you. We'll spend the next few breaths preparing for um, closed legs, variation of a forward fold. So you can use your hands uh, to massage your thighs especially your quadriceps. I use a pole here. Um, we make a, a lot of use of the pole in the Helio Flame program. So I happen to have one with me. If you don't, no big deal. Just use your hands. But work your quadriceps, work your hip flexors so that they feel free of any kind of tightness before you close your legs together and when you do if you have a pole um, put it under your feet if not just clasp your heat feet with your hands or use a rope um, a yoga strap perhaps 
And with the feet stepping down on your prop or your hands, let your head relax forward and a little tension from the arms, create a stretch throughout the back. And you could stay here, of course, as long as you like, or those of us more flexible could start scooting the feet forward uh, with the prop in hands. And here's where that downward slope really feels nice. It comes in handy and uh, by now, it's just a matter of your breath facilitating this uh, release to gravity, surrender to gravity. Each exhalation, surrendering to gravity, your tension, your worry, your mental clutter, your pain. Eventually, loosely taking hands behind your back and really softening here and no longer adhering to any form. Just being a container for our breath. You could stay here as long as you like or very gently, very slowly sit up, maybe even stretch your head back and complete your practice with a quiet moment of meditation. Hopefully you're ready for rest.